coming up on the Below Deck Med After Show. Cringe, 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 cringe. Katie and Coco. <laughs> what are you doing today, man? Rapping. What the f***? Wait, we're not puppets. I don't have a displayable talent, I don't. Like, I've never competed in a talent show before, so obviously this has been a sign. It's been 27 years. I did handstands like I always do. That's my only body trick. <laughs> Beat, like, Florida. That's how I'm all. Yeah. Like, you know, when you have guests of that caliber, they're going to tell you the truth. Sandy was at the table, I think, so that sucked. No. Yeah. Matthew stresses. You can't always please people. Like, this is the thing is you're never going to please everyone. It was definitely a shame because he'd obviously had, like, no complaints throughout the whole season, basically. Your Below Deck Man After Show starts right now. Before the final charter guests arrive, Captain Sandy gives an update about Lloyd. Some of you know, or maybe all of you, Lloyd's taking ashore because of his chest pains, and they're sending an ambulance to take his EKG. Yeah. So we just want to keep him positive thoughts for Lloyd. I actually had no idea at the time um, what was going on. And yeah, so I think she told us when just before our before we picked up the gas. Obviously, we want Lloyd to be okay in return, but if he cannot, you'll be 3-3. Three, three. You're gonna have less help on the interior, and this is our last charter, so we wanna make sure that we can keep up our momentum. I'm not thinking about being down a deck crew or a chief or a stewardess. Right now, I'm not worried. I have full confidence in my crew. I think they can carry this last charter through. We're gonna board on anchor, which is the first time we've had to do that this season. Yeah. We'll when be you fine. find out any more, you let us know. Of course. My number one thoughts was, I hope he's okay. That's like priority. Like, f the boat, we'll be fine. Like, we'll rally together, we'll make it work. He just makes sure he's good. We had to push forward as if he wasn't coming back because if you only plan for him to be back and he doesn't, that's big trouble. Yeah, I think ment mentally, in terms of in terms of the deck team's mindsets, we we were fairly prepped for for what was to come if he wasn't going to be coming back. But I think obviously it still is quite quite a big bummer. But it's just you have to to be prepped for the worst situation, the worst case scenario. It was obviously ironic. <laughs> like of course, like of course this is going to happen now. We're a stew down now. We're going to be a deckhand down. So I think it's one of those times. That was really cool about this cruise. We just like get it done. We get the job done. Like we all rally together and like pitch in where we need to and just really help each other out. Woo, we're down to crewmen. Edgar. <laughs> <laughs> Six five. Number one thought was I hope Lloyd's okay. And then I know we got this. We're going to be dead. We might not sleep, but we got this. I feel like your body kind of goes into like survivor mode. <laughs> you just have to get through it. Like. We all knew that we just had to get through it, basically, and it was only going to be, like, what, for a few days, and then we were done. So if it had been, like, mid-season, mid then we probably would have all freaked out a lot more. It's difficult because, obviously, you know, we're worried about him, but at the same time, it's that, like, we, we're already down a stew, and now we're going to be down a deck team. <laughs> and it's, like, it, it, it's been a push anyway. Like everyone is kind of teetering on that line. And now if we lose another one, obviously the main, the most important thing is that he's okay. But at the same time, how's everyone else going to be now that we might be down another one? So once the guests come on board, luggage, all that, same as usual. If everything's done, top to bottom. Yeah. If the guests use water toys like a bunch, we'll have to focus on that before helping interior. I just said to the guys, like, look, Lloyd's gone. We need to just focus on the deck first and just we just got to push through. We got to make it happen. And luckily, like the team that we have, Z and David were both just like, right, what do we need to do? By this point, we knew each other. We knew the boat. We are a strong team. We can still do it. It wouldn't be as easy, but it's possible. Yeah, everyone is just feeling like, okay, this is this is really going to be something else now to, to end off the season. Everyone was super supportive. It was like, right, what do we need to do to get it done? So it's, it's obviously hard for me to to have to listen to to no, the extra yeah. pressure i put everyone under so um it's 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 not not nice you know even, even now knowing that that i had to had to put that on there but you didn't put extra pressure on us it was just like you know i don't want you to feel that way it wasn't like lloyd did this you know it was like we were worried about you i just had a like a panic attack 
No, not at all. You missed your miss back here. The cabin's very lonely. I'll catch you later on, man. All right, cheers, Uncle. To their credit, you know, I, I spoke to Z that night, and when I came back on board, everyone made me feel, you know, it, you know, it was obviously I, I've been away, but they made me feel great and, and step straight back into it and, and offered me offered me not the support that I needed. So it was great. You got a bunch of people that love you, Lloyd. Oh. <laughs> we just wanted you back. <laughs> <laughs> These charter guests asked the crew to put on a talent show. All right. <laughs> <Go. laughs> on night two, guests would like dinner with Captain Sandy and the crew to put on a talent show. I cringe, 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 cringe. What the f Like, we're not puppets. I thought we'd just start off with a little bit of English slang, a way of communicating without members of uh, management understanding what you're talking about. <laughs> yeah, I did a, I did a little bit of uh, introduction for people, <laughs> cracked a couple of jokes, tried to make the the strangest request I've, I've ever had um, <laughs> for, for an activity, uh, into something that was at least pleasurable for for the guests, and I think the majority of the night went down very well with them. And that leads us into our first act of today. He's going to be playing with his cobbler's awls. Balls. Uh, but this time it's going to be his golf balls. So I introduce Z. <laughs> I felt like a bit of a, a bit of a, just like a clown, in a sense, just because you're having to go and put on this, this big performance for people. I mean, it just seemed a bit like, I mean, ridiculous. And I was trying to think of, at the same time, like what? talent that you can use in a talent show like i've never competed in a talent show before so obviously this has been a sign it's been 27 years <laughs> um so seriously <laughs> seriously bummed about that one yeah! the next lady's coming out is my boss milia i did handstands like i always do that's my only body trick. <laughs> i don't have a displayable talent i don't so this is the whole thing like everyone was like what are you gonna do i was like well i've got three oranges and i'm just gonna wing it and they're like well how does that work i'm like just i've got an idea i'm just gonna go with it <laughs> i also can't do um right so <laughs> like it was basically like a comical skit which ended up with a little bit of leg jump in there ah! <laughs> ah! three oranges <laughs> wing it let's just see what happens let's go let's vibe it out but it went well so that was the main thing <laughs> Yeah, obviously it was like nerve wracking having to try and think of like something that we could do, um, the two of us. And then obviously we tried to do the rap. Katie and Coco. <laughs> what are you doing today, man? Rapping. We're yacht crew. Yacht crew. Like, I like. I don't think people understand sometimes. Like that is not my job. That's not what we get paid to do. So yeah, it was just funny. Like obviously it was just jokes. It wasn't anything serious, so. We got jet skis on the stern so you can all take your turn. We had Ronnie out there rocking the safety vest. And with Ian over here only wearing his vest. <laughs> <laughs> we got Katie and Coco in the interior, but with a little help from the exterior. <laughs> you know, just adding to the cringe, just the cherry on, uh, cherry on top of the season, really. <laughs> Seriously, if you want to go to a circus, go to a f circus. Don't charter a yacht. Peace. <laughs> you know, the talent show honestly was actually really fun and funny. I mean, for me, it was a wonderful experience, and I also think the guests really enjoyed it. Chef Matthew receives his first food complaints of the season. The fish is like mad bland. It is. It looked like it was going to be spicy yeah, or something. Yeah, it's actually kind of bland. Yeah. OK. Yeah, we need some more flavor on the fish. There's a little bit more. OK, yeah. I can let Matthew know. Obviously, you don't want a guest complaint, but I'd rather than let me know than like bitch and like bicker and not say anything. Because it's like, well, if you say something, we can, you know, going forward, do something better or like whatever it is. Are they happy? They Are said they, they like everything, but the fish needs more flavor. Fish needs more flavor. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah, it was it was feedback. It was the fish wasn't seasoned enough. I duly noted, you know. I just want to cry. Wait, you can cry in three days. I mean, it was definitely a shame because he obviously had like no complaints throughout the whole season, basically. I mean, they're allowed to feel that way. If they want to eat something and it's not up to their standard or whatever, yeah. 
tell me, I'll tell Matt, we'll do what we can to figure it out. Like, that, for me, is no stress. <laughs> Don't be mad at me, Katie. Just that he did. Stop being an asshole. That's beautiful. Thank you. Beat, like, Florida. That's how I'm You know, when you have guests of that caliber, they're going to tell you the truth. It's called, uh, like, blood something microbes. Oh. Does yeah, it taste yeah, like beef? Yeah, it reminded me of beef. Can I do a different plate for you? I'm good. Sorry about that. Sandy was at the table, I think, so that sucked, too. Are you mad at me? No, I'm not mad. Oh, that's up. Yeah. That sucks. I was fine. I mean, it was the last charter. I It wasn't a huge, uh, like, it wasn't a big complaint, you know? It wasn't like they sent back the plate and were like, you know. I don't disagree with the client. And at the same time, I'm not going to go and go, you know, hard on Matt because he did a great job. <laughs> the beet greens. <laughs> were they upset? No. no. I loved it. It was delicious. Yeah, yeah. All Thanks. right. Nice Thank work. you. He did not let me down, um, even after burning his fingers. He did his best, and you can't please everybody. I feel so bad about that they didn't look happy at all. What are we? There's nothing you can do about it, Matt. Matthew stresses. Like I think there's a lot where I was always reassuring him. I was like, "You're a good chef." Like. You, you can't always please people. Like, this is the thing is you're never going to please everyone. Like, that's in any industry, basically. Good? No. I know, but yeah. Yeah, I'll fake it. OK. Cheddar, shrimp, spinach, mushroom, onion. Well, oh, they're the crazy omelet people. I never, in all my omelets and breakfast service of my life, done a shrimp omelet. But I haven't worked in New Orleans. I guess it's common there. I think I had an omelet fail. I was not happy with my omelets. And like when a breakfast goes wrong, it really sets the tone for the day. I was, I was fussed, I'm sure. Just like the worst start to my day. I remember having a very agitated Matt, obviously being his cabin mate. I got the brunt of how he was feeling, <laughs> which is fine. Like I got so used to it by this point. But it's the same as everyone, same with Lloyd, same with me, same with Z, same with, Millet, with everyone. It's the end of the season. Everyone is exhausted and we're pushing through. It's so nearly there, so nearly there. There were bound to be a couple of hiccups. There were hiccups everywhere. If it wasn't jet skis and lines, it might have been some food stuff because it is that last little bit. 